Dragon God. Dragon God. Hugs for Ball. Dragon God. So we've already met this guy at the start of the game. Frames! Frames! Oh my god, a Swede. A turnip. A Swede. A Swede is a type of turnip. A derp, a derp, a derp. Crystal laser, no! What the? <laughs> I was behind the pillar. I'm really glad we died in the Nexus now. Um, I was behind the pillar. Yeah, he looking for you, he looking for you. So, um, he's like, where did she go? Where did she go? This is a gimmick boss. Um, we did this recently on SL1, but I'll just say it again. So, um, the idea is to get to the far left of the arena. You can kind of see there's a great big heckin' trebuchet. Trebuchet? No. No, 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 no. Uh, javelin? Big heckin' spiky arrow gun. At the end of the arena. There's also one over there. So, I see a sparkle over there. I think it's the weapon that I want. Do I want to go for it? I think it's over there. I know it's here. So right, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to hide here. So he's looking over there. I want him to look over there. Right, he's looking over there. So we make a run for it while he's looking over there. You need to watch his head. <laughs> Ballista! Ballista! <gasps> there it is! You can see it sticking out of the ground. It's probably easier to do this while he's dead, but I just wanted it! <laughs> it's so big and smashy. Hey, listen. Hey, thanks for the follow, Leroy. So this is all this only appears when you're in pure white, which we are in pure white because we killed all the bosses without dying in body form in this world. Does that make sense? So we picked up Dragon Bone Smasher. We'll take a look at this after the fight. Need to make sure that he doesn't see us. Because he's like, where did she go? Where did she go? I've got no idea where did she go? Oh, Sugar, did he see me? Did he see me? I think he saw me. Block him! <laughs> Block it! <laughs> hey, Poshy! How does one kill a god with a pointy stick? Have you tried a point head stick? Right, we need to get to the Arbalest. <laughs> you can play this super safe, and I'll show you a couple ways we can play it safe. We're just gonna head back for now. <laughs> um, every world has a specific thing, a specific thing that is normally closed off in normal world tendency, but when you have pure white, it opens up. Uh, in that world, it was that bit right before Dragon God, uh, would have locked us away from the sword and uh, there's an NPC that now appears that we'll go and say hi to who wants to take a look at the dragon bone smasher um, But while we're here, I'm gonna pick up a couple things uh, First, let's take a look at the weapon that I'm planning on using hopefully if I can flip and wield it 20 weight I think he has to punch the broken pillars incorrect um, Type very large sword <laughs> Uh, a bladeless, thick mass of iron used for smashing. <laughs> Mika, come here. The ancient excavators of Stonefang are said to have created it to face dragons. It is imbued with a spell to protect the wielder from fire. Unconfirmed as of yet. Because of its immense weight, blacksmiths joke that it can scarcely be called a sword. <laughs> okay. <so laughs> 
How am I managing world tenancy UV server? UV? I'm not sure what that is. Um, I am just doing it manually. I'm just, um, I'm literally just dying in the nexus in body form and then killing bosses to get to pure white. I don't think I'll be going into pure black on this playthrough. I'll maybe do a separate one. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do. Maybe, yeah, well, because we'll get to pure white and then we just have to die a few times to get into black. That's how we'll do it, yeah. Uh, so now he will, he's changed his tune because we have gone away and gotten smart and came back. Hmm. hmm. I have a proposal he's like, you. you seem smart now. <laughs> you bring your demon souls to me as I determine more about the essence mm. of the soul. I can teach you new magic. A demon soul is no mere amalgamation of lesser souls. You have your wits about you. Surely you understand. <laughs> so, I recommend getting a uh, flame toss. And I'm gone a minute. Where do we trade the red hot demon soul? Soul Ray is very good. May as well get that. Uh, and flame toss. Uh, so I actually don't have any. I don't have any spell slots. Okay. <clears throat> Bring me more demon souls. Okay. Okay. My fine magician friend. Uh, so you need to level up intelligence or spell slots and magic for. For, for for spell power. Oh, do it if you're going into magic. Ma magic is seriously ridiculous in this game. It's so OP. I'd love to do a magic run sometime. Spells only would be fun. I'd love to do that. Great. Okay. So hide. These respawn, which is great. You can literally do this. And eventually... Unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure you can do it with arrows. Am I wrong? Maybe you can't do it with arrows. You can definitely do it with spells, though. Uh, but now that we have this, it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, one hit. Oh, he flippin' saw me, didn't I? I hate this boss. I did it first try on SL1, and now I can't do it. <laughs> okay, so he's looking over there. We wait until he looks away. I look away. It's easier once you hit him once. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why did I keep running? <laughs> Why did I keep running? I should have stopped. I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> Actually, I think you'll find this dragon is it's not even that hard Scott. It's not even that hard I'm just for some reason just not getting it today. Like I said SL1 we did it first try and <laughs> this is like my fifth try We did flame lurker faster than this <laughs> oh. If you want to be super safe, I guess you can like run up and hit it and then run back So I guess he got mad because he heard the noise. So he comes over to look. And he's gonna look away. Ignore the puddle, Rachel. He's gonna look away. So now we'll kick a boot here. Kick a boot here. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Hello, hello. Oh heck. He vibe in with his little goatee. He's looking away. Hydrogs sucked. My mum would buy them when they were on sale. There's like eating Oreos made with salt Peter. <gasps> Damn that Peter. That's funny. Don't notice me, senpai. People that speedrun this just do it. They just know how to do it. And I'm just like, don't look at me. 
Don't look at me. Okay. It should be easier now. This is how you set off a dragon killer. Just touch the side. <clears throat> okay, one down. What I would really love, so this boss is, yeah, this boss is very gimmicky. You just go to one side, you do that, you go to the other side, you do that, and then you hit his goatee. What would be really cool is if they gave the, the final phase, like the goatee bit when he's like down, if they gave that like some other attacks, that would be really funny. Like if they made him actually like breathe fire on you or like punch you, well, he can't punch you at that point, but it'd be funny if he tried. <laughs> I'd like that. Troll me, please, blue point, troll me. Uh, tell him that a hobbit has his Arkenstone. <laughs> All right, heckin smaug. Uh, is it just one of those things where you're continually just thinking, how have I not got this yet? This boss actually took me a long time. I remember I had to look this up, how to do this, because I was just so confused. And then I remember like just reading, they were like, just watch him. Just, just make sure he doesn't look at you. And I was like, really? <laughs> Uh, oh my rage, that's a long one you have there. Thank you for noticing you, Jay. I'm very glad you noticed. This is why I wanted to use this sword, guys. Because I wanted, like, dodgy comments like this for my whole flipping playthrough. Okay, now that we've shot him, he's, like, in pain and stuff and I feel really bad. But it means we've got, like, loads of time to move. He, like, closes his eyes. Why are the ballista even there? They were set up in case we ever needed to kill the dragon god, I guess. You walk in, you break him stuff, and then you slap him in the face. Welcome to Demon Souls. <laughs> you start to realize throughout this game, the more you play of it, it's kind of like a classic, um... Is it Mitchell and Webb? Sketch. Where they kind of just go, Are we the baddies? It is very heavily implied. Whereas we think we are doing the right thing, killing all these demons, all we're actually doing is becoming a demon ourselves. They just vibing, Flame Lurker was just vibing, Dragon God was just vibing, and we come in here and we wreck the place. Are we the baddies? <laughs> you have to parry his goatee, yeah. He's like, on guard, on guard. <laughs> Is he gonna is he gonna recoil in pain now? There you go. I'm gonna wait on this one because that one's really far away up there. No squeeze is available. Yeah, I've paused it, Sparta, because I pause it when we're doing gameplay, because it just keys out. The best demons are the ones we meet along the way. <laughs> hey, Sparta's back! Welcome back! Sorry about the, the pori. Pori, pori. It just annoys me, like, when it keys out. That's all. <gasps> Run! Run! Oh, Crystal Lizard, bye. Bye. <laughs> so Shadows of the Colossus vibes. Sounds like a Souls game. I'm really, it's really cool that the guys that made the Shadow of the Colossus remake are remaking Demon Souls. It's really cool, isn't it? I had to switch my had to switch my TV for a smaller, older one because Ninja's TV is broken. <gasps> Ninja's TV is broken. Oh damn! Uh, so I'm lending him mine so he can still play games. Best friends. GG ball. I'm just gonna grab this. Don't know what it is. Master's ring. Just because we have all the time in the world, we can go ahead and check this out. Master. I wonder if he's a debater. Raises direct hit damage and lowers other damage. A ring made of straw rope. Damage from direct hits increases while damage from all the other attacks decreases. A ring from a faraway land known for its sword smithing, said to be imbued with a distinct, distinct spell. Uh, right, direct hit. So obviously, um, because you can, you can hit with part of your weapon, and that's not a direct hit. I'm not 100% on whether that ring is a good idea. Okay, so that breath he's doing there, that can hurt you. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure how much it can hurt you. Uh, 
pretty sure it can hurt you. <laughs> but we're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh, mate, I'm sorry. I feel terrible. I'm sorry, majestic beast. Destroyed. Trade the huge demon soul for create food and drink. I'm going to trade it for uh, pyromancy, I think it is. You have obtained the soul of an arch demon. The thick, colorless shog, shog, frog shall oppress you no more. Can be enchanted using curse weapon and light weapon? <gasps> right, we need a spell slot. This thing can be enchanted! Do you know what this means? This means a lot of damage. Um, if shown to Scarver, damn, I forgot we were gonna go and see Scarver. Uh, the player will receive a pure gray stone. Let me show you that. Um, it doesn't actually say like what the buff is. It just says careful when you're picking it up because obviously it weighs like 20. Hey Adam, good afternoon, AC Myers. Look at my giant sword. That is how, right. That's how we're gonna greet everyone that comes in this stream for the next hour. <laughs> Look at my giant sword. Can one of my demon souls um, senses confirm? Can this not be upgraded? Oh, it can. It can. It goes up to plus five. Oh, I found the buff! I found the buff! So, at um, base level, it has 30 fire defense. And then if you upgrade it up to plus 5, it has 60 fire defense. Um, so about the same as the ring would have. But you can't upgrade the ring. Of course. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do a little bit of world tendency. So, because we need a colorless demon soul, which is what you get from a primeval demon, okay? So primeval demons uh, spawn when your world is in pure black tendency. Or when it's near black or like pure black, yeah. So, like I mentioned, like each world, this is world two, for example, each world has one like white tendency event that you wanna make sure you do, and then you're free to like go like play about in uh, black tendency, so. You do as we did, where you kill the bosses. Uh, if you, you know, when you kill the boss, you want to make sure you die in the Nexus. And that'll push it up to pure white. As you can see, that's pure white. It's pretty heckin' bright. But now we want to get it to pure black. So, the easiest way to get it into pure black is to die in body form. And that pushes it back into the black. That came black! Um... Right, so I need to do this event with Scarver, and then we are free to put two, World 2 into Black Tendency. The cool thing about this is I'm pretty sure I remember where the Primeval Demon is, and it's quite easy to find, but I'll still look it up. Yeah, let's go. That was risky! <laughs> Could've hit him there! Uh, but we did get some sharp and some clear. Hello, pal, how are you doing? You got a nice wee buff on you there. How are you doing, pal? Let's just get rid of the dragon. Bone smasher for now. Hurry, how you doing? You cats. Oh, oh, you nearly fr fr frightened me to death, creeping up on me like that. Creeping up on you? <laughs> I see treasures of the unknown. Comes in swinging my garter. Come this far. <laughs> guided by a sixth sense or a brash imprudence. Either way, you've more There's skill Evie than back. I. Let us put that s skill to work. There is a temple beyond here, below the ground. It is a work of art, molded by the ancient burrowers to appease the bones of, of dragons. As a precaution, a broad sword which can cr crush bone and slay dragon is stored in the temple. It's got a little Truth star. told, it is the laughing stock of many a swordsmith. They say it's as blunt as a bludgeon. A dull blade meant to slay a dragon. Curious, is it not? I would search for it myself, but I I'm afraid I'd fare poorly against the demons. If you happen to come upon the sword, please let me have a look at it. This place is magnificent, eh? 
The bones of dragons exuding ore. A dream come true. Hmm. I think I have what you're looking for, buddy. Okay, Scarver. Is this just repeated dialogue? Hey, that's... Oh! You found Oh, he can it. see it, like, in my inventory. Let I wanted to show him it. I wanted to show him it. Look at my sword! Wonderful! The arts of swordsmanship applied in a perfectly useless manner. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Hey, mm. listen! Oh, <laughs> do not mind me. He's just checking Thank me you. out. It was a pleasure. Please, take this as a small show of thanks. Take care of that sword, will you? She's a beauty. Cannot carry it would over No! <laughs> um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Pure Greystone. Um, okay. We have done the pure white tendency stuff. We could kill him if we want to. Because he's gonna disappear anyway. That would be so mean. That would be so mean. That would be really mean, wouldn't it? Would that not be quite mean? Uh, but it would help push our character tendency towards black. Do we want that? Kill half of him. I think I'm going to... Stay white. But we'll go, we'll go world black. We'll go world black. But we'll stay white. Character. I think. Does killing him add to the lore? Um, no. I just thought it would be quite funny. <laughs> I just thought it'd be quite funny because he was like, oh, miss, you're amazing. Miss, you're amazing. Your sword is so large and just uh, let me touch it. And then I killed him. I just think it would be quite funny. Oh, well. <sighs> Good thing I kind of wanted to do that anyway. Some girls are into that. I think, yeah, probably. I'm into Dark Souls. <laughs> having big pee pee is, is not as good as having BDE. BDE? You like my weapon, Seth? You like my hacking chonky sword? I've never used it before. Um, I'm enjoying it. It one shots the miners at base level. I have 30 strength and 20 dex. I think this only scales off strength though. I, that is hilarious to me because these guys have such high physical defense. Like, it's just funny. <laughs> no, I don't know any slot jokes. I don't believe that for a second, Shifty. Woo! <laughs> Right, so it should be neutral now. Yeah, it's back to neutral, okay? So in theory we do two more and it'll go to black and then two more after that to go to pure black. But I think the colorless demon spawns at just normal black, so... Uh, sorry, primeval demon, primeval demon that drops the colorless demon soul. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't reset unless you kill the Grey Demon. So when you kill the Grey Demon, it then pushes it more towards white. That's why, right? It raises the world tendency by plus three. And there's a high chance of it dropping a soul. It might not even drop it! In the event that it doesn't drop one, the game shouldn't save itself. You just like reload your file and you can try again, okay. Um, they appear while the world is slightly whiter than pure black. Worth noting. So stone pine tunnel from the archstone. Find the crank, collect the bath. Yeah. Okay. And it appears in minus three. So I think we're in zero at the minute. Okay, so this is where you can find it. It's not going to be there yet, but I'll show you where it is. Literally down there. Literally down there. <clears throat> I just saw this in the perfect. It's attack! It's she attack! It's like Sif, right? 
Uh, so, hang on. That door is where? The old lady sells the stones. Do you mean the one in World 5? The, like, filthy woman? So look, it's doing okay. Good to hear it. I mean, maybe we maybe we can, uh, maybe we can make that okay a little bit better than okay. How's that? Oh, that's another stone. Good. Okay, yeah, so it's literally here. I want to say it's, like, it spawns here. So, bye! <laughs> Died before I hit the ground! Look how black that stone is, yes! Look how black it is! Fab, okay. Right, so hopefully we get our demon now. Hopefully we get our demon. I had a feeling it would be you in here. Die. Oh my god, that didn't one-shot him. Why did I think it would one-shot him? He chonky. Okay, the two shot him. Uh, if I ever need souls, I just kill Grim Reaper. Oh, with a bow? I hate 4 2 so much. So here we find a soul, a fat controller. And these guys, who are the guys that were throwing rocks? Uh, this is where you find a really, really good early game weapon. Uh, which for some reason I didn't come up and get. I guess I forgot about it. Uh, but it's the crushing battle axe plus one. So it's already been infused with crushing, which is scales with... Strand? Yeah, strand. Um, a standard battle axe. It's a very versatile weapon with a standard attack type, reliable against many opponents. Following through with one swing and landing the hit will do a direct hit, which does more damage than normal. So if you combine that with the ring that we found, this weapon is actually, I think, used in speedruns. Like, I watched Distortion 2 speedrun this, and he used this weapon for the whole game. So, once you go black, you don't go back. Actually, I plan to, though, Dark Souls, because we can, um... Oh no! We can't! We literally can't! Oh, we can, maybe, if we get the Phantom, but... Why bother? Uh, so, kid, I did play Mortal Shell. I really liked it. I really liked Mortal Shell, yeah. Thanks for letting me join. Thank you for joining me, Lamba. I'm glad you wanted to. Uh, I loved Fallout 3. Wait, the Fallout 3 game based on this map, you play the sole survivor. The Mika, stop. Mika, stop. I really want to plunge on him. Look at his little feet! Why do I find this thing cute? Look at his little feet. I don't think they attack you. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, they don't attack- Look! It's so gross! Look at his little feet! <laughs> so there's one of these in every level. Hopefully it drops the thing we need. If not, we can uh, hopefully reload. They only show up once again in not quite pure black, but almost pure black. Definitely. Minus three. Which means three deaths in body form uh, from the world being neutral. My big, hard, two handed weapon can be buffed with sticky white stuff. So happy. What if it be a blacksmith? I'm busy. Forging a weapon that strengthens it. Pours a transmogrified sprite. Demon soul? The demons Demon are powerful soul. spirits. So I'm not gonna hit him. Weapon. But doing so requires a powerful flame. Mm. But the soul of a demon is an inferno of love. Blank. So in order to, you know, in order to, like, he, he hints at it there. You need a powerful flame. To use demon souls and upgrade weapons with them. I told you that I am busy. Each or has a grade. Mighty weapons can only be blessed by ores of high grade. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. <laughs> the spirit force that delights the eyes. <laughs> uh, Ed, please. The highest grade of all is a. The highest grade. Ed, please. <laughs> And I have your, I have your flame lurker soul. Yes, that's the one. Red hot demon soul. Now you can bless your weapon with another demon soul. Oh, praise the sun. Yes. Mm. Wise choice. Nice 
nice one, Bob. Best friend. You done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith. Ninja head. is lucky. Bring me a demon soul. Bring me a demon soul. Bless your weapon. Okay, cool. Bob. There you go. See, I totally forgot that. Ed seems pretty immense, 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 emaciated. Rachel feels emotion. She does way too many, way too many of them. I have emotions. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um. Okay, so it costs. How many salts? 200. So I can only get it to plus three. I need to pop another soul. Oh no, plus four. I can't count. Oh my god. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. <laughs> Bros. Yeah, I hope it goes well. I hope the call goes well. Are you okay, Spun? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Okay, so now it does like flipping 280 damage. I'm cool with well this. Done. Right. Okay, so now I'm feeling a bit braver. Just look all around you. Cause we'll be standing true. We can always help each other.